All right, hello there. I am Pupo One, and this is AOS Virtual Pro Wrestling Two, and we are on Show AA, and this is the second fifth spot chance for the KO division. So let's take a look at who's involved in this match, and we have these four right here where you see the second one at. So three boxers this time will be part of this qualifier. Three brand new boxers will be part of this qualifier. The last qualifier, I believe I have one boxer, the one boxer along with um the, the MMA style striker along with a kicker or kickboxer in the first qualifier. Yeah. Because kicker would be the, um, you know, the Taekwondo slash kicker specialist. And what's the name would be like the kickboxing, but does MMA, which would be the other character. So we're just, you know, I said already, I already told y'all that we got to make sure that this stuff is all on there before we can start the, the matches. So, well, I'm using more than one character that's part of different um you know slots and stuff like that or the save spots or yeah the save slots and stuff like that i gotta make sure that their stuff is on here before we can start the match so a couple of the boxers do got that shot that punch to the body that liver shot or whatever like that yeah as you're seeing that's what the 83 is right here so that A3 stands for for that, but not all of them are like um, Midas Punch, where they got that as their go to strike or whatever, like that. Some of them have it as their counter strike, some of them have it as just a strike that's on the game, game for them, but not a lot of them have it as their go to strike. I think only like Midas Punch and probably like one or two other people have it as their go to strike. And what you're about to see right now, oh, wait, that's the wrong thing, my bad. What you're about to see right now, Legend actually has the same three strikes as, you know, Strong Attack, I should say, as, um, you know, Midas Punch. That's what the Legend has, you know, the Legend Myth. He has the same three strikes, so Myth, you know, he will be looking to utilize those strikes. I'm currently watching the highlights from Monday Night Raw that just happened. Not too long ago, I got you. Got waited till like after midnight, and like somebody upload just the highlights of the show and stuff like that. Basically, you watch the three-hour show, but you watch it in a little bit less than a half an hour. So like a whole hour is done in like eight to nine minutes or something like that. Wait, damn! It. I wasn't supposed to go on this either. I was supposed to be going on here. To gallery to show you the rules in English. God damn it. That's my Western stuff. Well, I could. No, none of this has to be improved just yet. I ain't gotta do no more that stuff until 7. Yeah, so here go it once again in English for you can know the KO division fist by chance qualifier rules and see it right here. Everything's right. 3 3 1. No, blood stoppage, yes, no, yes, free, no, two round. And let's just make sure it's on the hardest difficulty, it is, and we can get started. So, we already tested out quite a few of my characters already. I think we already tested out 10 of the new characters so far. Oh wait, we're supposed to go straight to the start of the match. So, of all my strikers that I got on the game, for the first time ever, the one you see right here in the blue, Punch Happy, he is the only person who has three strikes, right? His three um, strong attacks, all of them are done with the, with the lead hand, which is the left hand, so all his strikes, you can't like counter into like, you know, like the headbutt and stuff like that, so none of his strikes besides the weak weak attacks for the punches because those unmagnetic are 
you know, can be countered and stuff like that. With, you know, with the headbutt and stuff like that. But his strong attacks can't not be countered with that stuff. So that's how that character plays out. So see how that goes with that character. You know, and as I already told you about Golden Child, his stuff. He's basically supposed to be based off of, you know, you know, Steve Fox from Techno or whatever like that. So some of his moves may remind you of Steve Fox and stuff like that that he utilizes in the match and stuff like that. You know, so I try to figure out at least a couple of moves that Steve Fox used in Techno to give him. Like at least one of his grapples, you'll know that that's from some of the Steve Fox uses, and one of his running attacks, if not both of them are stuff that Steve Fox uses as well, stuff like that, so that's what's going on with that. So far, so good for Steve, <laughs> call his ass Steve Fox, so far so good for Golden Child, or should I say Perfect, doing well so far. He hasn't got a knockdown yet, but he has been doing more damage and stuff like that. So, you know, he's been controlled. The majority of that first minute was controlled by him. Now it's starting to be a little bit more even. And the first knockdown goes to Punch Happy with a European uppercut that has set to do KO damage for him. Talk to each other a little. He caught the leg and he went for the single leg takedown. I think it's called single leg slam, not single leg takedown. Yeah. But either way, same thing. You know, same difference. It looks like a lot of the weak text when you press the weak text with um when you press grab then you press strike or whatever like that, those weak grapples. I wish like the headlock takedown will actually do like, you know, count as a takedown. That's not count as takedown that surprised me. The headlock takedown, I understand why that wouldn't be counted as a takedown, but like the other one should be. The head the headlock takedown, which is basically like a hip top or whatever. The hip toss like takedown. That should be kind of. I'm not talking about the one where you go off the Irish rope. I'm talking about where you hip toss them and you kind of like fall onto their stomach or their rib cage, which are which are full body weight. That type of hip toss takedown. Yeah, that keep on getting cat. That keep on getting counter. And then you have to do something about him using that. He has the lead with one knockdown. Nobody's bleeding. I don't think nobody's really been injured yet. And if this keep on going this way, Punch Happy will be moving on to the finals for the second Chris Cross Chance Qualifier. So, the main thing that Go to Chai gotta do right now is try to get a knockdown. You know, that's the main thing he needs to worry about in this match. Need to try to get that knockdown. Lucky he just got knocked to the outside because that could be his second knockdown right there. Okay, so like I said, with the, with the lead body shot, freaking that coach, um, what's his name again? 
Oh yeah, that puts God damn, that puts go to child with a knockdown. Second knockdown. The run for a smash this time. Alright. Punch happy man. I expect big things from him. You know, he had a good first round, but he's gonna have to watch out now because he only needs to be knocked down one more time. Because I'm probably only needs to be get one more knockdown on him and he's over. Gonna have to be cautious now. You know? It's still a little bit more than a minute and a half left to go on here, you know? About minute 45, just under a minute 45 to go. So, you just got to, you know, figure out a way to get one more knockdown. Oh, I forgot they both got that time. Ah, oh, shit. He went for the grapple, but he was out of range and he got dropped. Dang. I don't think that was really nothing wrong with either one of the characters, you know, like, cause like, when it comes to the fist by chest qualifiers, I just like to see, like, with my newest characters, I just like to see if, like, would they benefit from, like, being in a different division based off of what they go for when they're fighting and stuff like that. Because, like, you know, in a situation where you only need three knockdowns, it's about who can get the knockdowns the first, the quickest. That doesn't necessarily let you know who will win if they was going 12 rounds and they have to get 15 knockdowns total. But anyway, congrats to, you know, Golden Child. He's moving on to the finals. Very luck next time for Punch Happy. I may end up putting Punch Happy in the MMA division or something next time around. I think I'll probably put him in the MMA division. See how he'll do in there. Or he'll probably go back into this one. It depends. It all depends, you know? But anyway, next one is going to be Shinya versus Myth. So, get ready for that matchup. It's coming up right now. Yeah, it's 4 o'clock already. I'll probably end up, end up doing the tail division for the day. Now, didn't know it was already four. It's gonna be four o'clock. Shinya is coming at him, which you gotta do sometimes against these characters. You can't just sit around and let them dictate the pace and stuff like that. It's missed, just like. Um, Solus, they're both coming at their, you know, freaking, you know, Myth is after freaking Midas Punch because when they went against each other, Myth was able to take him out and stuff like that, so that's what you gotta worry about with this matchup. That's what he's going for. He's going at the Midas Punch, you know. The point of him being crazy is to take out Midas Punch, and then Solus is going at the Rage, you know. Cause those are those are the two ones who got to become the regular version. Those AI those um, AI um, settings got to become the the original character, while the other ones are stuck being in qualifiers and shit. I thought about putting them in the fifth spot chance, but like, no, they're new characters just like everybody else. You know, just different AI settings. You know. And the thing is, there's going to be plenty of shows that come in the future, you know, show 9A, everything, like, I'm never going to stop doing this thing. Good, good one. That's a good knockdown right there with the rear uppercut by Myth. He's got that knockdown. You got a second one right there. And so a lot of their striking is the same between Myth and, um, what's the name? Not their striking, I should say. I'm 
sorry that I said that. Like, I think a few moves are similar, but like, their three strong grapples along with their counters are the same. I believe. Except for Mip, he still has when he catches the leg and he goes for that overhand punch to the face. His does KO damage while Midas punches does bleed damage. You know? Because I had to take away something for, you know, to give KO damage to the running DDT grapple or whatever like that. When you do the running DDT or whatever like that. The running DDT grapple or whatever like that. So, like, that's what's going on with that. Wow. That kid keep on landing. Like, the DT that he just did, did but, um, my, but Mips would do KO damage. Has the potential to do KO damage, I should say, if he does it. I like Shinny in this match, though, man. He's not doing bad. He's down by a knockdown, though. So he does gotta watch out, you know? He gotta watch out. He gotta get at least one more knockdown, or he gotta potentially get the, the, the um, blood stoppage, but... He hasn't got Mip bleeding yet, so I'm not sure if that's going to help him. That kick just got countered by a grapple. You know, he's going to try that kick again. He hit the first one. The first one did the KO damage right away. The first one he was able to land. I like that kick, but I, one thing I don't like about it is it like... You know, when it gets countered, they put you in that leg lock submission, and on top of that, the startup takes so long, but it does have great range on it. But the thing is, because the startup is, takes so long, you saw that little quick uppercut he did earlier, and the um, lead body shot, there's a ton of strikes that will happen way quicker than that. Even, um, you saw Shin using the spinning back fist, that happens way quicker than that freaking load up. Roundhouse kick to the body when you stand in, I believe, you stand in South Paul's stance to deliver that kick with the left leg. And that's the end of it. Okay. Miff did well right there. He was able to win two, three knockdowns to two. 14 seconds at the start of the second round. Congrats to him and congrats to Senja, um, for, um, Shinya for coming out blazing at the start of this match to try to put the pressure on him to try to get him out of there because sometimes that's what you gotta do. You can't just wait around and like try to play the you know long game and stuff like that. Especially not against my crab characters. He could probably have done that against any other character, but these crab characters, they got so many different possibilities. To KO you that you just have to keep them on the back foot. Right, because certain characters I got, they're super defensive, some of them are somewhat defensive, some of them are super offensive, and some of them are somewhat offensive, and then there's ones that are just balanced for both offensive and defense and stuff like that. But like if a character you're going against is super offensive, it's like one of the AI settings, the AI settings for them to be super offensive, just you gotta go straight at them. You gotta go straight up because the thing is, they may not be so good when you're coming straight at them because they're supposed to be always on offense. So who knows how they're gonna react to somebody rushing them down when they when they hardly think about defense. And the same thing about a super defensive character. You stay laid back too. You know you don't really rush forward either. You let them try to come to you because that's what you gotta do against a counter striker. Because that's why I think the counter striker. Rush down is basically the ones that for offensive and stuff like that. Like when you're always on offense, that that to me just means you're rush down. And then when you're always on defense, that means you're more, more so thinking about countering. You know, you're trying to counter fight somebody. Anyway, let's move on to the finals of the second fifth spot chance qualifier for the KO division. Should be a good one for as long as it lasts, which is what. Six minutes times 150% or 1.5 will give us what nine and a half minutes if this goes that long, which is four and a half minutes per round. And I'm supposed to be having this already in the ring. So, yeah, 
we got a bunch of more characters that I got that are new that I need to test out and they will be tested out in the upcoming fistbot chance qualifiers and stuff like that we got at least five more that are supposed to be tested out for this for the KO division then we got at least two of them that are going to be tested out during the grappling division then we not get none I get, oh wait I got a tag team that's two of them that's going to be tested out in the um in the West End division, double team division, then I already told you that we don't have none of them for the um, PW division. We got another two of them for the MMA division. It's maybe two or three. I believe it's only two. Then we got finally one new one that's going to be tested out for the MMA, for the Absolute division. And then you also got D for Blaze, who's part of that spot chance qualifier because he lost his title. So that's also going on with that. So far, so good for you know Cody Chow in this match until he got knocked out the ring. I like the um. Uh, the main thing I like about this game that I wish a lot more games will play closer to is like what does and what doesn't do like knockdowns and stuff like that. Like don't have it where a move always does knockdown or stuff like that. <laughs> stuff, but like I wish like it was this game was more so like um, revenge where you have the realism element to the game where like almost anything can do a knockdown you know you can do a knockdown with almost anything i think that's what they mean by realism or like that all right that's the thing for blood i'm not sure what that thing means because i don't think there's actually a thing where you can put blood on the game i think that's what realism is blood. But basically, like, you can have whatever amount of KO and blood damage moves and stuff like that. And, like, the basic strikes can knock somebody down or do KO damage as well because a regular, you know, leg kick should do, you know, have the ability to KO somebody. Seems that have plenty of times in kickboxing competitions and freaking. What's the name? MMA as well. I believe um Aston Barbosa into somebody with leg kicks before. And there's plenty of fights that are like old, 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 like like decades old or at least fifteen ten to fifteen years old where it's um K one or just regular kickboxing matches between like people of different different spins like um Karate, kickboxing, and um, Taekwondo, and they be challenging like the, the Muay Thai fighters, and like they won most of the fights by you know simply just attacking the, the opponent's legs because like you know knees and elbows wasn't allowed when they would take on the other people and stuff like that. So they had to fight them in kickboxing rules, and like that's how they would get the job done. They'll hit them with the um with the low kicks or as they call leg kicks you keep on kicking in the leg and stuff like that and like when freaking when they first started fighting like you know the people from different countries and stuff like that who did karate kickboxing and taekwondo and stuff like that the other type of martial arts that involved kicking and stuff like that nobody knew how to check a kick you know because you never had to deal with that because you never faced nobody who would kick at your legs until you start facing like more time people. So like it was basically ending everybody because you know they had a superior like like um I'm not gonna say muscle mass or no not muscle mass because a lot of times they were smaller than the freaking um foreigners they would fight. But they had superior like legs or whatever like that, like their legs was like more defined and stuff like that with the with the um 
stuff they have with their legs and stuff like that because like it's called macro micro fractures or whatever like that and that's what they would get in their legs from like um building their legs by like kicking like heavy bags and stuff like that they'll get like little micro fracture breaks inside of their shin bones and whatever like that and like it'll make them harder and like i also think that like like you know made like nerve damage like go away and stuff like that because like they couldn't like feel like the nerve damage not all the way or whatever like that but like you know like they couldn't really feel like when they would kick shit that's what it seems like because i don't never see no like grimacing or anything first knockdown for golden chow finally finally y'all man gonna need two more before myth can knock him down one more time that's what's gonna have to happen in this Miss in a winning the match. Congratulations to Miss. He is now going on to the Fist Bar Chance match at show 8A for the KO division with this counter. He countered that fury punch into that lead body shot. And he got the third knockdown. I forgot how he got his previous two knockdowns though. I know that the one knockdown that Go to Child manages to get was a grapple with an overhand to the head. So, like, so he grab and punch him in the head or whatever like that. I gave that KO damage to, for him. I don't think I got that from KO damage for anybody else. So, so far, so good with these new characters, man. I'm liking how they're playing out. Nobody's really, like, you know, getting destroyed or anything. And, like, I couldn't really tell if they were getting destroyed because. You know, the rounds aren't that long. You know, there's only two rounds and you only need three knockdowns. Say we still did like, the, if we was doing like the five rounds for three, the three, the five three minute rounds with the 15 knockdowns, but no, we only doing two rounds because this is the fist fight chance qualifier. So, that's what's happening with this. And there's always, you know, the next show, A, or this or that, or they can always go to a different division. I took a couple of my characters of going into different divisions before they finally, like, found a division that they could become the Fist Squad Chance. And I should have put at least two or three people in the Cabanets. I mean, not Cabanets, but the, um,. PW division. I don't got nobody in there to the PW division. That's the only division I didn't put nobody in for Fist by Chance to qualify. Because I thought I would leave my characters off for at least one of them. What am I supposed to be doing here? Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be doing this. Taking off these characters right quick. I think we got... I think, um, third qualifier has three people as well. I'm not sure. But anyway, let's find our first person. So let's see who all supposed to be a part of this. Yeah, so we got to figure out who all is going to be part of this. So, Ligway. So, all right. We'll, we'll find him first. Ligway. He... Oh, wait. We can find two of them. Because they're both right here at number three. Yeah, Legway is right here and um Rex. So we got two people already that we already found. No, we just had him in there. Yeah, Rex. The beast Rex. Forgot that these two are part of the same, you know, the same thing, so. So, I gotta find, and what's the name is under slot one. I know that already. But right now at this moment, I gotta put these two on the other side right quick. Yeah. 
that's what we're about to do. Put these two over here. And so far, this is where this has been working. They're putting people over to the start, uh, starting from the top. That's what seems to be working so far. So let's make sure before we save. Alright. Oh, this stuff is still on there. No. God damn it. Keep pressing buttons quickly. Alright, all this stuff is saved on here as well. There's nobody over there. Alright. Because they just need to be anywhere and then we don't have, I don't really have to worry about, you know, who's not supposed to be on this side or that side. I just do it in a way that's going to allow me to, like, you know, upload the matches as soon as possible. That's the only reason I'm doing that. So I figured that this is the best way to do that. So, uh, as I said before, we're going a match-by-match -match basis with all of this. So, let's see. Going here to slot one, and where I'm looking, I, I believe I am looking for Victor, but I want to make sure. Let's make sure right quick. Yep, Victor, and he's on the slot one. I think he's the third character on the slot one. Yeah. Yep, he's right there. His stuff was black and was black and red, but I decided to make it gray and red. I think that looks better on him. Cause I, you know, there's so many characters that are using black and red and shit. So I was like, might as well make at least one character different from the others, you know? But they all won't be just looking generic with the same old color pattern. Cause a lot of people do got the same exact colors already that I created and stuff like that. That's why you also see. You know, like the light blues and stuff like that with, um, with, um, what's his name? Punch Happy. I think his stuff is light blue. Yeah. I have to check out this. Yeah, yeah, his stuff is light blue, so. Now we're just, I'm gonna keep him wherever the hell he's at, so. Make sure his stuff is still here. His stuff is still here. Rex's stuff is still here. And we can also set up for the next one, the next fall fire. Alright, all his stuff is here. Okay. So we can set up the next fall fire. So who's the, who's the other person supposed to be in it with them, though? That's what I need to know. So, oh, alright, I know. And he's supposed to be doing this rep. So. They go to the right. I don't know how they keep on putting it on that one where it's supposed to be here. I know that's because I want the different slots and stuff and save people from the different slots, but why the hell does that keep on coming up? So, got that. And then we got who? Who is it? Oh, wait. Back over here. He's right here. I was just on him. May rules. Turn this off. This should be blood stoppage. This should be all. This should be free. This should be all. This should be two rounds. We're pretty much looking good. Yeah. Three round three minutes, three points, two rounds, one point for knockdown, blood stoppage turned on, and yep, everything looks the way it should look. And we're pretty much done with this video yeah so that's how I wait I gotta do one more thing I gotta put this on slot zero so I won't accidentally save anything to the wrong thing all right now we're done with the video basically so yeah hope you enjoy all the matches and stuff like that we will be getting started with the very next one which is that one which is Fist by chance qualifier number three a little bit later on today for the KO division. Cause I gotta go right back to doing my workout stuff. So until the next one.
you know, later. Hope you enjoy. We still got a bunch of more people. As I said before, I got at least two of my characters who are going to be part of qualifiers. And since there's only two of them, I didn't want to put them in the same qualifier because there's only two of them. I had no choice with the KO division because there's so many of them. Unless I was going to do like half a dozen qualifiers or something. Not even half a dozen. I probably had to do a dozen just for they wouldn't all be in the same match. Or at least 11 because I'm using 11 characters and there's only 16 spots. Then we ain't got nobody. Oh wait. We got the tag team of Mayhem and Panic. Yeah, that's the only thing we got for the what's the name. So there's two characters that you'll see debut on there. And then we got nobody. Like I said, we got nobody for the PW division. That won't be the same thing next go round at show 9A. I'll probably be having some people over there. Then we got the two characters right here that's going to be part of the two qualifiers for the um, MMA division. Then we got right here, we got two of them. We got one in the first qualifier for the absolute division. And then we got, you know, DD4 Blaze. But he's not new. I'm just saying, he's one of my creator wrestlers. He's going to be part of the final fifth spot chance qualifier, which is the final one. He's going to be able to get his revenge on Moss. I hope he wins that match. If he doesn't win the qualifier, I hope he wins that match. You know? Because I showed it. I showed it before, but I'm not going to show it again. But it was just a bunch of bullshit. He just kept on getting tripped up by Moss Man and ended up costing him the Fight for Gold Championship match. And he was the final two. He was part of the final two. You know? Anyway, to the next one later. As always, hope you enjoy all the other good stuff. And hope you enjoy your life. Stay in space wherever you're at. And to the next one, peace.